We've got some video now of one of those charter flights with Americans on board arriving in Orlando. 14 Americans on board that flight, including eight children. The arrival of the flight comes as Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis tries to stop Haitians from entering the U.S. by boat. That's a nearly 700-mile journey if they make it to shore. Brooke Schaefer went up with the Florida National Guard searching for migrant boats in the water, and she joins us now with what she saw. Brooke. Yeah, hey there, Marnie. We went about 10 miles off the coast of Marathon, Florida, here in the Florida Keys. We went up in a helicopter with Florida soldiers who do this every single day. But their mission here in the Keys has expanded recently as the deadly violence in Haiti escalates. In Haiti, heavily armed gangs have launched new deadly attacks, ravaging homes and neighborhoods. The unrest, roughly 700 miles from the Florida Keys, has officials in Florida bracing for what Governor Ron DeSantis has described as a possible influx of Haitian migrants. Yeah, I got N1, I got temperature. News Nation, given rare access on board a Florida Army National Guard helicopter, one of six now stationed in the Florida Keys since March 13th. As we are over the water, these soldiers have a special camera. They can actually zoom in on every boat in the water. But really, they tell me so much of it is knowing exactly what to look for. I like five or six boats off the nose. So what we're looking for is what they call chugs and, you know, different piece together rafts. Major David Dietz was sent down to the Keys last week alongside 250 extra Florida officers and soldiers with additional surveillance and helicopters. There's different avenues and routes that we can expect, you know, for instance, Haitian migrants to come from or Cuban migrants. Florida soldiers and the Coast Guard tell us there hasn't been any unusual migrant activity, despite the deadly violence in Haiti. They credit much of that to deterrence. They know we're out here and they know we're looking. And extra manpower in the Florida Keys in place since last January, when News Nation was allowed exclusive access with Customs and Border Patrol. Approximately 20 migrants on board this boat. I think two, unless that's them. Today, helicopters like this one patrol Florida shores in the Keys every day. Governor DeSantis said Florida could see a possible, quote, invasion. Some advocacy groups have pushed back on that wording and DeSantis's response. To me, it's a coward move. It's easier to go for violence. It's easier to, to bully people. It takes much less thought process and strategy and also compassion to look for help with a solution that can address the root cause of the problem. And the Coast Guard told me that since October, they've stopped roughly 200 Haitian migrants in boats trying to make it to Florida. That number drastically down from last fiscal year when the Coast Guard says they stopped about 4,000 Haitian migrants. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.